Hello, Reject Nation. Greg Alba here. I'm John. We are going to watch the Vampire launch trailer. Vampire. Vampire with a Y. Before we do that, there's a story trailer that came out a month ago, and I feel like we should probably watch that one first. So we will get around to the new launch trailer pretty much right after it. I have been playing video games recently for the first time in years. Played Uncharted 1 and 2, The Last of Us, half, I'm more than halfway through Red Dead Redemption right now. So I'm not at the comfortable point yet to really just like start doing some actual gaming videos and all that, but I'm getting there guys twitch just for you guys and plus twitch. i'm loving it so let's watch uh, the story trailer first for vampire genesis london tyro magnus's video i just want to know rated it's... m for mature ah. connected to the old this movie or not. age is sickly an ancient poison an older rage brewed in a cauldron newly forged okay you made me you made me this creature! What are you? I am the land. You are our champions. Bad call. A vampire. Such a crude word. No. You are now an Ekon, and that you shall remain. Have the very streets of London become a mausoleum? The previous symptoms leading up to this attack were the same, indistinguishable from the epidemic. No. There was something more vile in these reactions. Something primitive. Are you alright, Doctor? to the launch trailer right away. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. We'll talk about it. Overnight, my world has changed. The gnawing hunger inside me. Every night, it must be appeased. The thing I've become. A vampire. A thing to be hunted down like an evil beast. But as a doctor, I know there's worse to come. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Choose the thing I've become, but I can choose the lives I now take. Cursed be the choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like... 
Is the vampire a Y because it's like an upside down cross or something? I don't know. I mean, there's an old movie called Vampire that spells it like that, and I, I'm sure. Oh, that, I think that's actually the original spelling of vampire. Probably, yeah. Vampire genre is still one of my favorite genres in like horror. One time I like looked up vampires, and <laughs> I think that was the original Ritual spelling. Lore. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That's not an upside down cross. I don't even know why I assumed that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. This is my kind of game. If totally. you notice, like the games I picked up, they're all story based adventure Story games adventure. so far my favorite one of them all has actually been the last of us because i like the darker elements the kick-ass graphics and the dark story yeah. this is a cool approach because i feel like i don't know enough about video games to determine whether or not there's games where you play as vampires what i do know is i picked up several games where you're killing vampires it's cool that you get to play as this conflicted main character yeah. who is a vampire who's probably going to make some pretty horrible mistakes and decisions along this journey of being this guy and is going to get himself in a lot of trouble while also taking on some bigger supernatural yeah. baddie element along the way. It's hard to keep up that Hippocratic oath when you got to feed on people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this looks totally cool and I'm, I'm just now wondering like what the gameplay is going to be like. Like is it going to be more of like a puzzle oriented thing or are you going to have to go out and look for people to feed upon or are you going to have to fight stuff. It looks like you're gonna have to fight at least a couple things. See, that, that's like what a I mean. Werewolf and then whatever that big giant dude was. I'm, I feel like the gameplay will have this element of you have a mission, like a main mission, but then there's gonna be times where he's hungry. It's yeah. like when a character needs rations or when a character needs yeah. food, and then he's gonna have to go out there and find a specific kind of human to kill. Yeah. So I wonder if there's gonna be something where in the beginning he like kills an innocent person or two, the guilt weighs down on him, so then he has to be more selective so you actually have to like do some type of side quest to find so these are all like my theories on how the gameplay can go down or you have to find like this person's bad so yeah we can kill this guy or maybe it's one of those games where depending on who you choose to feed upon the outcome of the game changes because they will uh, do stuff true, like yeah. that where it's like if you choose a more moral or a less moral path you know different things will happen throughout the game and whatnot that would be neat i feel like his powers probably evolve over it because the, the, from the looks of it with the story trailer come out the launch is that this will pick up right from the time he discovers he's a vampire so you know he will want to feed and whatever and he realizes he can handle bullets and whatnot he has this ability here where he kind of just turns into a shadow and like which it doesn't and turn like, into a bat he but he like flies like a <laughs> blood dust thing yeah and, yeah and i wonder if that's a power he might not get right at the beginning but eventually stronger i feel like this is a, a, a neat idea Idea. It looks cool, and I love the setting too. I love games that take place in like you know period Pure places, East London, yeah. especially for me who's really been into the, my my girlfriend's introduced me to the show Penny Dreadful. I'm on the second season right now. The first season deals heavily with vampires <laughs> in London, <laughs> so that uh -huh. to come off that show, which I just finished the first season only a couple weeks ago, and if you've seen this trailer, is like the perfect timing for me to be watching this. This is a lot of the world uh, my mind has been in in terms of like imagination lately. Dude, maybe there's an unlockable Josh Hartnett. That would be sweet. Logan Marshall Green can play this guy. He's my go-to actor. He's forever. your new go-to. <laughs> my new go-to. Everyone has their Tom Hardy and their Michelle I get Logan Marshall Green. They look alike of Tom Hardy. Yeah. I'm so proud of this moment right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just like the the amount of candor you've taken on over that guy's career just makes me really happy inside. Are you guys excited for this game? Comes out in like a week or less than that, actually, from the time we're putting up this video. It's at June 5th, right? This is a few days from now. Yeah. I need a PS4. That's the problem. That's what we need to be splitting. Well, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get through like the PS3 games I really want to play and then upgrade to a PS4 because that's where my like the story games I'm most appealed to seem to be coming from. Yeah, I get that VR Resident Evil 7. Ooh. Oh, God. Pants crappingly terrifying. <laughs> you guys can subscribe to the Reject Nation. Click that notification bell. You can check us out on Patreon. Full-length TV show reactions, weekly Q&As, music video coverage. We'd love to have you become a patron today.